Okay, we've all been told don't eat yellow snow, and we know that. Now what happens if you eat the nice, fresh, fluffy white stuff? We're gonna take a jar and melt it down, see what's in it. Okay, one jar of nice, fresh, new, fallen snow that just fell this morning. Our snow is all completely melted. And as we can see, there are some little pieces of dirt in the water. Not a lot, but some little chunks of dirt floating around. Now, I wanna know how, how much dirt is, how much solids are actually in the water, whether it's actually clean and good and decent to drink or not. Now, I have a total density meter here. It measures how many parts of solid are in the water. Now I have some tap water. I've got some pretty some pretty bad water. I've got some filtered water, some RO filtered water. I have some wa some bottled water out of the store, which we will try. And then we've got our snow. So we will find out how much is actually in all three of these. I have 273 parts per million of solid in my tap water. My tap water doesn't taste the greatest. My RO filtered water, I have 24 parts per million. So there's a lot less than that. Those filters are taking out a lot. If I go to my bottled water, I have some pretty bad bottled water here. I've got 279. It's got more it's got more dirt in it than my tap water. That's crazy. And then we come to my snow. I have four parts per million in my snow of solid, which is some really clean water. I didn't expect that at all. I thought there'd be a lot more dirt in the water, so I wouldn't want to eat. I wouldn't want to eat yellow snow. That's pretty nasty. But there's not very much dirt in the in the snow, aside from the big chunks, which you can melt and filter out. Snow's not bad. To, snow's apparently not that bad to eat. So if you, if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. And I learned something. Hopefully you did too.